Good morning, Tennessee Valley. This beautiful Friday morning, cold but beautiful. The sun is coming up. March 1st. March 1st, the and first day of spring. March. We, we got the first day last month also. Yep. We got to be on uh, well, Friday. We fell on the first yeah, March, also, didn't the dates kind of fall the yeah, same. Yeah, right. the days fell. We had March, I mean, February 1st, and uh, now we have March 1st. So right. We're the first ones of this month you get to see this morning. That's right. That's right. And what is today? What is National Day? These are National Days. National Days, yeah. National Day, yes. And what's, what's one of them? Peanut Butter Lovers Peanut Butter. Day. Peanut Butter Lovers Day. And you have, see, now, see, we've got creamy here. And you know, I know. I, I like bring crunchy. I like crunchy. I like the crunchy peanut butter. It's a matter of taste. It is, but uh, <laughs> what's one of the things, I, I think as a kid growing up, I can remember mixing uh, peanut butter and syrup together. Mm -hmm. Syrup and mixing that up, kind mixing of just eating up. that out, you know, just eating that. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, you, you could do a lot of fun things. We, I fed it to the dog. I remember feeding mm -hmm. the dog, and, you know, we had friends over and then fed the peanut butter to the dog off the, you know, had the spoon and gave it to it. And our dog loved it. Uh, she she it, licked her, her, her tongue hours, grew that long. I mean, it was <laughs> she was licking her eyebrows and everything else with that. I mean, she really loved the peanut butter off the, that spoon. That's right. What else we got this month? I mean, um, we got a few things going on. Yes, um, there are. Um, it's actual, actually National Pig Day, James. Do you pig call? No, I cannot pig call. <laughs> Can you? No, not that I would do it on the show today. <laughs> you, that would wake everybody up. Yeah, I, I couldn't do that. <laughs> Yeah, so National Pig Day, Peanut Butter Lovers Day, and what do you have, James? Uh, well, I have not just a day. I don't have a day. Oh, you I mean, don't have, have a day. I have you particular didn't pick today. Days. Yeah, I didn't okay. pick just picked today. Days. I was looking at March, forward in March. One being March 10th is time change. Important. It's important. To you you lo actually lose an hour. Lose an hour. Lose an hour. You don't get that extra hour of sleep. You have to get up an hour earlier, and then you're all messed up the rest of the summer just in time for fall from the change of back. Right, just and enough uh, to get confused. Right, right. <laughs> just get enough to get confused. So and you've got to be careful. You'll be late. Right? Yes, you would. You, you would be, be late. late if you don't set your clock. Yeah, it's like You're gonna be now late. you got to figure out that's another time change. you got to figure out, you know, when I have to go to the VA in uh, Murfreesboro. I always yeah. got to figure out. I, I can't figure out the time. It's trying to figure out what time you got to leave, what time you got to arrive, and also at the same time figure that hour, extra hour, one way or the other. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why we, each state. We come from a state of, from Indiana, mm -hmm. which for a long time did not have time change. Right. So we were like one, I think it was us and Arizona, was the only two states at the time that did not change time. And then they started changing it, so it was uh, a little. Get, little it took a little bit to get used to. Right, it. Now you look forward to it one way or the other. You just right. got to remember it. It's and no remind big deal people. now. Yeah. It's just remembering to change your clocks. You either be late or early. All of your clocks. Right. <laughs> um, and also St. Patrick's Day this month. We're going to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. And uh, spring begins March 20th. I told you, month of spring. Month of spring. I'm ready for spring. It's I spring. saw I saw something on Facebook the other day. Uh, somebody had like three or four foot of snow. Mm -hmm. um, Don't they, miss that, do and, we? Well, they had that, and then they had spray painted or something in, in it, and they said uh, something about uh, the groundhog glide. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so they's like, you know, we're, you know, I think it was in Milwaukee or someplace. Right. So they get a lot of snow anyway, but they said, you know, they had painted on there something that uh, said groundhog had lied to them. And so, you know, so we got spring begins, March 20th, I mean, spring cleaning, mm -hmm. yard sale. Right. Yard sales has a lot of yard sales. Right. Have a lot of, and then also, which is weird, this year again, I, it's been what about 14 years since this happened. Is Easter happening in? It March. happens in March. March it 31st happens will be a little Easter. more often than you realize. Yeah. And then uh, something I thought would be interesting is coming up is the raceway is opening Ooh, up next week. Actually, race season. actually, March 2nd is open practice, 12 to 5 p.m. at Cleveland Speedway, and then coming up is also the SAS Shamrock, um, ten thousand dollars to win. That race, and that's on uh, March the 9th. That's uh, 50 laps, and if you win, it's ten thousand dollars. Wow. Yep. So we know that people race race um, race car drivers must not be from Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> I get behind them, and it's like 55 miles an hour, and we're going 30. Right. Going 35. I mean, I'm not in a hurry, but at least I like to, you know. You like to do the speed limit. Yeah. I know. I mean, you I know. tell you, you've got road rage. No, I don't have road rage. I don't get mad. <laughs> I say, please do the speed limit. Especially when you go past them, I mean, when you're going behind them and they're passing speed limit signs. 55, 55. <laughs> but, uh, right, so we know that right. most of the winners will probably be from other... other um, they're not going to be from Cleveland, you're saying? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who's all racing, but uh, this is like one of the big ones. This is the Southern, uh, the racing, and then, like I said, it's $10,000. I think there's another one for $1,200, another $2,500. But um, that's the big one that you just yeah, jumped that's, out Yeah, that's one of the biggest up. ones. I mean, you've got, one, you've got the whole schedule in here. I mean, they go all the way up into, it looks like... Uh, November, so the mm -hmm. race race fans are sitting in front of the TV. Right. Our There's a law. lot of race fans in this area. Yeah. yeah. A lot of race fans. Yeah, I mean, that's all I have. That's I mean, all you, you have? You have National Peanut Butter Day, National Pig Day. Uh, um, 
Well, it's not peanut butter day. It's peanut butter lovers day. Oh, you got to love the peanut you butter. Gotta love the you got to peanut peanut love the peanut butter. Okay. You got to love the peanut butter. You got to love the peanut. Something else coming up this weekend also is um, Household Hazardous Waste Collection Day. It, it's this Saturday. It's March 2nd, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's going to be at the Tri-State Exposition Center. And it's a great time. You talked about spring cleaning. It's a great time to, to clean out those items around your house that you need to get rid of, that you can't, you know, always throw in your regular trash can. Um, medicine being one of those. Medicine's of medicine one of those. Uh, yeah, expired medications. You know, it's not good to just throw those out. Take them and let them dispose of them properly. Um, there was, um, it says pool chemicals was one of the others. Electronics, that's on the list. Um, home maintenance improvement things. Um, it says wallpaper remover, adhesives, things of that nature that, paint, you know, extra things. Everything well, right. you know, some of your paint um, is not hazardous. Some you can dispose of. But, yeah, you need to check the labels. But, you know, that's an opportunity to do some that cleaning at? out. It's at the Tri-State Exposition Center. That's okay. at Exit 20. Um, it's right out near the um, the waste. Okay, towards the fireworks and right. the movie place. Right, out in that there. area. Out in that area, right. Um. So yeah, that's. So who's on our show today? Who's on our show? Who's, who's on you're our show? You're not keeping that a surprise today. Well, you're going to share that. Yeah, we can. <laughs> uh, we have Stacy Alexander from Paint the Town Periwinkle, and she's here to tell us about an event that's coming up. Okay. That everyone's going to want to get involved in. Okay. Definitely. And then we have Dr. Lacey Windham from Life Circle Women's Healthcare, and she's going to come on and. I'll, we'll wait. Let her well, we don't tell, tell them what to. Yeah, we, 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 we don't want to surprise why. Exactly. But, uh, exactly. So well, make folks, them stay tuned. I, I guess I say stay tuned. Uh, we'll be back in just a couple of minutes after these commercial breaks and you meet our first guest. Logan Thompson, attorneys at law, have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors. 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. 
Hello, and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Great to be here this morning with Stacy Alexander. Welcome, Stacy. Thank you. We um we heard about your event and wanted to have you on because you have a really unique story. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Stacy. Okay. Well, um, I'm the mom of eight children, and I live in Athens, Tennessee. And um, last year, on January 25th, 2012, I was diagnosed with stage four esophageal cancer, and, um, and it was quite a shock to our family. And um, I ended up doing 12 rounds of chemo and also did uh, Herceptin, which is another drug because I had my tumor was HER2 new positive, um, which they're seeing more with GI cancers. So I had these, um, I did chemo from February to September 6th. And then um, in November, I went to have my PEG tube removed because I used a feeding tube for about the first 60 days. And um, they told me I was pregnant. So now <laughs> I'm five months pregnant and I'm getting ready to host this really great event in Athens. <laughs> um, and it's called Paint the Town Periwinkle. Mm -hmm. um, periwinkle is the esophageal cancer ribbon color, okay. hence the name for the uh, event. And so we um, are planning a 5K run walk. We're gonna have live music, food vendors, health vendors, um, and just hope to get lots of participation from many people in Tennessee as, a, as well as around the uh, United States and abroad. My sister's gonna be doing a remote walk in Thailand, which is gonna be very exciting. Yes. <laughs> so I said it's really an international event and it's exciting to bring this to Tennessee. Mm -hmm. um, my cancer was caused by silent reflux and a lot of people have active reflux, um, GERD, Barrett's esophagus, things like that. Um, and it's important to get checked or be aware you know, of these symptoms that you might have. Mine being silent reflux, I didn't even know I had the reflux. And by the time I actually had symptoms, I had swallowing issues. Um, and, you know, by the time I got to the doctor's office, you know, there really wasn't much time. They said, you have stage four cancer. And it was in my lymph nodes and my uh, liver. And um, I've been very blessed to um, be where I am today. So <laughs> it's Certainly. very exciting. So I look forward to, you know, hosting this event to give back and, you know, sh I guess, promote awareness of this illness right, and, uh, right. and hopefully save somebody else <laughs> from going through what I went through last year. Right, so. definitely. Now, so you said there was no signs? No, other than, um, other than I had just had a baby in March of 2011. Um, and so once you, you know, generally when you have a baby, you'll have weight loss. Um, I had kind of extreme weight loss um, several months after having the baby and, um, you know, I kind of go, hmm, this is not quite usual, but, you know, it was kind of nice yeah. <laughs> to, to lose a little extra baby weight. Um, but then the first time I had, um, I went out to eat and, you know, I thought, oh, you know, my food went down the wrong way and didn't think much about it. But then it started getting consistent. And I would notice that when I would eat, you know, a bite of food, I felt like my airway was getting cut off or, you know, I'm like, I'm having anaphylactic reaction to something I ate. Um, you know, I wasn't sure what was causing it. And so I went to, you know, the doctor and, and they went, you know, I went to a GI doctor, I was referred. And, um, and so we were scheduled to do an endoscopy and I found out I was pregnant. So this was in, um, I guess, October of 2011. And so I postponed that first scheduled endoscopy and uh, ended up having a pregnancy loss in December. And um, I guess two weeks after that loss, started having chest pains and um, still having the swallowing issue. And my husband rushed me to the ER and um, four days after being admitted, they diagnosed me with the cancer. So the time for me to be diagnosed was fairly quick. Now the cancer was probably there for a long time and I just didn't have the symptoms. Mm -hmm. um, most stage four people when diagnosed do not live the first year. Um, even with treatment, 
um, Richard Dawson, the former host of Family Feud, mm -hmm. he died about three weeks after being diagnosed with stage four um, esophageal cancer. Humphrey Bogart died from esophageal cancer. And, um, you know, there's Harmon Killebrew was a baseball player that died. Um, most of them are men in their mid-60s who've had acid reflux for years. Um, there are different types of esophageal cancer. I had adenocarcinoma. Um, which is reflux related generally. Then there's squamous cell, which is related to smoking and drinking. You don't see that quite as much because people have changed their lifestyle mm -hmm. to a certain extent and we're not seeing, there's still a lot of smokers and drinkers, but not quite to the extent that um, probably were in the past. Right. So it's a very scary disease. It's a, a fast growing one, I think, because of um, the health issues of our society have mm -hmm. definitely changed <laughs> and um, people aren't taking as good of care of themselves and so um, you know it's it's very important to you know exercise get your rest eat well you know just basic common sense things right. and, uh, and hopefully you can prevent you know these kind of problems mm -hmm. um, but we are seeing more and more you know of this particular type of cancer I'd never heard of it until I was diagnosed with it and and I got on the computer and, and researched it one time and I turned my computer off because um, the statistics and the things, the information that are on the computer are not what you want to read. <laughs> and um, your mindset is one of the things that I think got me through um, was having a positive mental attitude and being on prayer lists around the world. <laughs> um, it really, it made a huge difference. And, um, but yeah, I, I've been very fortunate and I hope to have, you know, many of you join us in Athens on April 13th for Paint the Town Periwinkle. Um, you can go to www.ecan.org and register a team. And um, my goal is to raise $25,000. I'd like to do it before the event, <laughs> um, but if not, you know, all I need is a thousand people to give me twenty-five dollars <laughs> um, for this cause, and um, hopefully we can promote awareness, you know, around the world and um, even just locally. We have uh, in Etowah, Tennessee, at Woods Memorial, they just got a really neat machine called the Fees F E E S machine, and it's a swallowing disorder machine that can help check for reflux and GERD and issues, and it's very minimally invasive. Um, and it's one of the first machines of its type, and it's pretty neat that we have it, mm -hmm. you know, in our community. Right. And so it's, it's uh, pretty exciting, and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be able to save some more lives. Right. Just... So you're out raising awareness. That's, that's the goal. <laughs> and also, um, it's my excuse to have a big party and invite yes. everybody. <laughs> Yeah, you're celebrating one I'm year. Se I'll be actually at this event. I'll be almost to my 15 month mark, which is a huge milestone um, as a stage four esophageal cancer person. And to be pregnant um, is even more exciting. <laughs> um, I take pregnancy as a sign of health, so I think um, you know it's very exciting and it's it's amazing to see you know God's hand at work, mm -hmm. and um, and so it's very exciting to me. And, and I hope to meet lots of you at the event. Well, so if you have so, big kids, you have to. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it definitely keeps you keeps you young, and um, and so yeah, I'll be at the event. The kids will be at the event, so it is definitely a family oriented event. We'll have the 5K run walk, um, lots of great music, um, and just it's just going to be a really fun, exciting time, and just a great time for people to learn more about. Um, reflux, GERD, things like that, mm -hmm. and we'll have different health vendors um, just to teach people about healthy lifestyles so that it can prevent some of these issues later on in life. Right. And start now with your kids. <laughs> that, you know, my children, um, we're getting ready to have birthdays next week, but they'll be 2 to 16 here in the next okay. month. Yeah, so uh, we have a, you know, a great family. I've been married 17 years. We just celebrated our 17th anniversary in November. And uh, who would have thought we were going to have such a full house? But it's exciting. It's exciting. I would say. So. I would say. Never a dull moment. Never in your a house. dull moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a family event. Absolutely. Um, and where is the location of? It's going to be at Athens Regional Park in Athens, Tennessee. That's exit 49 off of Interstate 75. Okay. And uh, the park is, you know, just a mile or two off the interstate. Okay, so very easy. So it's easy very easy. Find. Very easy to okay, find. Okay, and what time is the event? The event's going to start. We're going to have 12 to 1 is our race registration unless okay. you pre-register then you'll just come check in um, from 12 to 1 and then uh, we'll start the race probably about 1:30. we'll do opening remarks and then mm -hmm. uh, get started and after the race we'll have 
the music will get started and we'll have, you know, go into the early evening hours and okay. uh, it'll be a lot so of fun. All day event. Yeah, a, a nice <laughs> all day event, you know. Yes. And so uh, we're kind of looking forward to it. Is there any it. cost involved in the race? The race is $25 okay. and um, that will that money goes to ECAN and okay. it will if you register between now and March 22nd, you will be eligible for a t-shirt. Um, the um, right now there is no more charge for the rest of the event, so um, we hope to get lots of people registered. We will be accepting donations at the event, mm -hmm. um, but we're not, you know, setting a set charge. Okay. And, uh, we want we want lots of people to so come. So there's where, that's why you want a thousand people. That's why I want a thousand people or twenty five thousand with a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> either <laughs> and, uh, way. Yeah. Either way, I just would like to reach my goal, and I just want you know to the more people I can reach, then the more mm -hmm. successful. Um, you know, the event will be as far as promoting awareness and, of course, okay. raising funds for ECAN. Mm -hmm. And they're a 501c3 charity. Okay. Um, so there are tax deductible, you know, options available. Okay. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, and so I think that would be great. So, yeah, any sponsorships are, are greatly appreciated. Okay. Now, what's the so number we can contact you? You can contact me at 423-453-7800. Or my email is periwinkle, P-E-R-I-W-I-N-K-L-E-T-N, at hotmail.com. Okay, great. So yeah. April 13th at noon. April 13th at noon. Okay. And we, you know, the goal is to have lots of people there. Lots of people, <laughs> yeah. And uh, so I hope, you know, we'll get people from Chattanooga, Cleveland, Knoxville, Mm -hmm. um, their surrounding areas. And I do have people coming from other states. Mm -hmm. um, we have a, a hotel that we've partnered with, the Comfort Inn in Athens, and, um, and we've got people coming, you know, already confirmed from out of state to participate. So okay. it Great. should be a very exciting event for Definitely. East Tennessee. I don't know about you, James. I'm not <laughs> I it's like mark your calendar now. Yeah. Well, instead of walking around, that's right. Walk that's right. That's right. We'll we'll stick in the walk. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> so um, I'll let you run. You can walk. Yeah. yeah. Um, our two-year-old will run. That's right. <laughs> Definitely. Force you to chase him. That's right. That's right. He's all about that. That's right. He's all about that. Do you have any other questions, James? I don't. I mean, she covered she, very well. She really. Did. Same words I can't pronounce. She <laughs> <laughs> well, great. Thanks, so. Stacy, for being on today. It's about time for a commercial break, but I appreciate, we appreciate you, you coming me. out. We have a lot of great information. And folks, contact Stacy. Get involved in this event. It's a, you know, spring's coming, so April. There's you an event. Put on your calendar. Right. Sponsor this. You yeah. never know. You know that was silent to her. So, well, we'll go to commercial break then. Okay. Sounds good. Folks, stay tuned. We have another guest coming on. And uh, you know what? Follow this up <laughs> and, and uh, get involved. Definitely. We'll see you here back in a few moments. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold. And a handshake is firm. And your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least 2000 bucks. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast. Phone 790-7100. Logan Thompson, Attorneys at Law. 
have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flash screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Welcome back, folks. Excited to be here with Dr. Lacey Windham from Life Circle Women's Healthcare. Welcome, Lacey. Thank you so much for having me. I was kind of thinking about what we could talk about today, and I thought, well, maybe we'll talk about vaccinations. I think a lot of people think of vaccines as something that we do when we're children, and then we're over that once we get done, you know, age of four to six. We don't have to think about that anymore, you know, other than maybe the occasional flu shot. Um, but there are some adult vaccines that I've noticed that a lot of my patients just aren't aware of, that are recommended, that they um, probably should be aware of. Um, the first one that I wanted to talk to you about is actually the whooping cough vaccination. You may have heard about this in the news a little bit. I think right now it's one of the CDC's big priorities because I think we're on the verge of a big whooping, whooping cough outbreak in our area. So um, whooping cough is also called pertussis. Um, mm -hmm. It is a very serious infection. It is spread by um, an infected person coughing or sneezing onto an uninfected person. And then uh, before the 1940s, before we were vaccinated for this, it was a very serious thing. We had about 200,000 um, people diagnosed every year in the country, and we had about 9,000 people die from that every year. So, uh, you know, we do a lot better with that now with people that are infected because you know, we have better care, but it's still very serious. So in our country now, we usually diagnose between 15,000 and 25,000 um, people a year and a lot of those are infants and unfortunately we still have you know um, between 10 and 25 deaths a year. So we are vaccinated as a general rule for um, whooping cough as, as a part of the childhood vaccine series. But what we've learned is that um, the vaccination wanes over time and then our, we are susceptible to catching this infection. So as adults we may catch it and then we think that we just have a cold and you know we're out coughing but really we have whooping cough and we're able to pass it on to infants. And that's who we really worry about because they are susceptible to the most serious side effects of that. So what's the symptoms of, of whooping cough? Well, it's, it's the, you know, the very typical cough, that's, hence its name. So usually, but, it, but in adults, it may be much milder. Um, so a lot of, just kind of like a cold is what people think of it as. But the, it's, a very, it's a cold that takes a long time to get rid of. So the average, in an adult that has whooping cough, the average days of missed work is 10 days. So it, it can be kind of a, the prolonged cough that won't go away, the prolonged cold that you just can't shake. Maybe mm -hmm. you've gone in and gotten antibiotics and it just won't go away. Okay. okay. Um, in infants that catch um, this infection, we've identified that usually 80% of the time it's actually caregivers that have passed it along to the infant. So that's why we recommend now that anybody who's going to be in close contact with children or infants, they do need to get a booster shot. Even though you were immunized as a child, your, immuni your immunity may have waned by now. So we, reckon, we do recommend a booster shot. It contains also tetanus, so it can replace one of your, in, you know, your every 10-year tetanus boosters. Um, and we recommend that you get that booster shot at least two weeks before coming into contact with a young child or a baby. Um, we also, in, 
we have been vaccinating our pregnant women in the postpartum time while they're still in the hospital before they go home. But actually, as of January of this year, the CDC has um, issued a recommendation that all pregnant women during every single pregnancy get a booster shot um, in the pregnancy. So we're going to probably start doing that as well. Okay. So say you have a, a child that had, a, had their booster shot then, at what age should they be revaccinated? Um, any adult um, 19 years of age or older okay. needs a okay. booster shot. Anybody at all, not, mm -hmm. and we, especially healthcare providers and caregivers, mm -hmm. but anybody 19 years, you know, should get one right. today if you're hearing this, then you can make an appointment, you're right. eligible, okay. according to the I CDC. See. I understand. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking, you know, at what age would you need to be re-vaccinated? Re mm -hmm. And so that, and, would, that would make sense. And the question we don't know at this mm -hmm. time is, are you going to need another booster, you know, 10 years down the line? Right. You may. We, we okay. use safer techniques to develop vaccines than we did in the past. We use something called an acellular technique, which is safer, but it probably doesn't develop the same strong immune response that some of our older vaccine series did. Okay. So that's why we think that the immunity is running away. Gotcha. Gotcha. And two weeks would be a long time to miss work, James. You missed one Some day and got very behind. That ten, that ten days. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't missed. I missed it last week a day, a day and a half, probably the first time in years. In years, yes. But I've missed, and that was just from getting a flu shot. <laughs> so right. I have to go back and get another shot. You're saying. <laughs> <laughs> right. Add another one to that list. I don't say. I don't know. You know. I remember in the military that the shots uh, to get a shot was like from a gun. Mm -hmm. It was like a bottle. It was like because <laughs> we would go down the line and we get two. You know, we get six or seven mm -hmm. shots. Now they still get the needles. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm afraid of needles, but. Uh, you know, they, they, they come at you and you've got this needle that long, it's wider than your arm, you want to you stick that in. You just don't look at it when you see that. <laughs> they took blood from you. Now they got something new, a new needle from, from taking blood. I can't remember, I called it a butterfly. Butterfly, yes. I love mm -hmm. that one. I didn't even feel it go in. You know, and after I woke up, you know. I, <laughs> <laughs> You're I said, funny. oh, you took my blood, but no. I, so shots are, are, I guess, are important. I mean, you never mm -hmm. really think about that, you know. Right. It's coming up on a few years past what I used to be. and. And uh, I don't like to tell my age that much. <laughs> who, who does, right? But so you're saying that after 19, you need to go back and get booster shots. You I should mean, get a booster shot for um, the whooping cough. Mm -hmm. Whooping cough. Mm -hmm. and See, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't either. That's interesting. You and need to go get it, shots. Yes. Right now. I think you might be hearing about it more and more in right. the news now. I think it's right. kind of their hot topic in the, the last year. It's on the internet. So. I believe it. Okay. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> now, where can you get? It? I mean, can you get it at Life Circle? Yes, you can. Yeah. Life Circle. So you, you now, can. that's women's health care. Can men get shots there also? Um, I'm pretty sure we could we could arrange something like that, right, Christine? <laughs> well, I, I'm, <laughs> sure. I'm sure I, I go sure to the could. VA a lot, so. <laughs> but the, the other um, vaccine that I just wanted to talk a little bit about too, which has gotten a little bit more. Um, a little bit more focused maybe than the whooping cough lately is the human papillomavirus vaccination. Have you ever heard of that before? No. <laughs> okay. Um, human papillomavirus, it's the most common cause of cervical cancer in our, in our country. So, okay. um, so there are many different strains. We've identified over 100 strains of this virus, um, but 40% of them can cause, um, 40 types of them cause problems in humans that we've identified. And some of the ones we call high risk strains can cause cervical cancer. They can also cause problems in men as well. Um, but we do recommend um, vac vaccinating children for this. Usually our target age is actually 11 to 12, but we can do it anywhere from 9 to 26 years of, years of age. And I have a, you know, a, lot of, a lot of patients coming in who are in their 19, 20, or maybe even a little bit younger, 17 and 18, and I've noticed that not many of them are getting this vaccine series. And I often tell their moms, you know, if I had a, if I had a shot that would prevent breast cancer, I would have a line around my building of people demanding that for their children. Mm -hmm. And I don't have that, and I don't think there's anything like that on the horizon, but I do have one that prevents cervical cancer. And I, you know, I would love to see more people in this area take advantage of that. Definitely. So that would be, um, that would be another, it's a, that one is a three dose vaccine series. Okay. Um, but that's another one we can arrange, you know, at, either at a primary doctor, your gynecologist, even the health department um, is doing a lot of that. Okay. Well, uh, while we're talking about that, give, give out the information at Life Care, you know, number, phone number, um, address, and everything, just to let people know where, where they can, how they can call and, and get in contact to get set up for that. Okay, well, um, so we're Life Circle Women's Health Care, um, and our phone number is 339-1400, um, and we are located on North, um, North Akoya across from the middle school. Okay. okay. And we're the, build, the white building with the pretty gazebo out front. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So That's they can call, make appointments to come in mm -hmm. and get those shots. Mm -hmm. Also Absolutely. for the uh, the um, whooping cough also, mm -hmm. so so you need to make a call. That's right. You need to get set up, and make a call. <laughs> Definitely. And so so I mean these things. I mean these are like you said that younger year. I mean the kids, but also 19 on up, and, and then after that you still say in 10, 15 years. Right. So we, we don't know. We may come back in another 10 years and say, you know what, you had that booster 10 years ago, but we're going to ask you to do it again. We're still doing the the studies on how long the booster works. Okay. 
Because I don't even know the last time I got shots. Do you? No. You don't keep track of my shots for me? No, I don't have your shot record. <laughs> You're going to be around any babies. And, and, almost, yeah. and everybody is. Everybody babies. is. It's, it's a great thing. He's two day. and a half. That's close enough. Yeah, that's, that's a new, new enough. <laughs> <laughs> that is plenty new enough for us. <laughs> yeah. we'll, leave, we'll leave the 9, 10, 11, you know, babies for, to Stacy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stacy needs more. Mm -hmm. Not this Stacy. <laughs> no, yeah, it's true. Uh, yeah. It's not cause any confusion. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so is there anything else we need to know? I mean, anything else coming up that, I mean, any other shots that, you, that we need to know? Well, um, I think I'm flu sure season's on its way out, but you know that one, that's another one that we doesn't do. hurt. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, you know? I know a lot of people do get it, and they say, "Oh, that made me sick," and it usually means you already were sick when you went and got the vaccine because <laughs> yeah. it's a it's it's a, not a, a virus that we're injecting. It's, I didn't it's think just it was because I've had it no. before and I hadn't gotten sick, so I must mm -hmm. have just got the flu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a component. It can yeah. it can make you feel kind of bad at the at the reaction site, but mm -hmm. a lot of people think, "Oh, that gave me the flu," but it really isn't capable of doing that. Yeah, so I would still yeah. recommend that any time around flu season. Okay. Um, just because we, we know. spring shots? Any shots for the spring? For the spring. <laughs> Not unless you have allergies. I guess you can go to your yeah, allergy doctor and that. get some allergy <laughs> shots. Well, do you have anything else? I mean, anything no, else we can I don't. Covered? We've had a very educational show yeah. today, James. There's too many words I can't say. <laughs> We're going to make you practice all those tonight. I can't <laughs> okay. You well, want to wrap up? Um, yeah. That's Unless you've got anything else? Anything else you can think of? No, I don't think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm going to go get shots. Yes. Well, I'll go ahead and let you take it out. Okay. Folks, fill up your cup of coffee. We're going to be back in just a few moments after this commercial break. Logan Thompson, attorneys at law, have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790 Seven one zero zero. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello, and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship.
This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Welcome back, folks. We're excited to have an, our third guest today. Yeah, I'm Surprise expected. guest. She dropped right. in and just wanted to be on TV. So That's we're right. Here. Christine, yes, you're welcome. We're you're welcome to, yes. exactly. We have Christine Sneed from Life Circle Women's Healthcare. Welcome, Christine. Hi. She wore Good her periwinkle to today. That's right. Yeah. That's right. She yeah. has her shades. Stacy. Of, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Tell us what's going on with you, Christine. Well, we just finished up a 20-hour uh, certified lactation educator training this past weekend, and uh, that's going really well in the area. We're getting several of the nurses at Sky Ridge uh, Medical Center are being trained uh, to be certified lactation educators, so that's going to really boost our um, initiation rates of breastfeeding, and what we hope to do is follow the uh, World Health um, guidelines to have every baby exclusively breastfed for six months. Of course, the Surgeon General in the United States has put out a call to action that all mothers in the United States should exclusively breastfeed breastfeed, meaning nothing else but breast milk for the first uh, six months of life. And if they will do that, the government will save, if 90% of women would do that, they would save $13 billion a year in health care costs to women and infants. Wow. So I'm no, just trying to be a part of that. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, she was part of it. Too. Yeah. Um, being certified, what, what does that do for, for a place? I mean, what, what's that do? Well, the, because of this um, Surgeon General's call to action, we're trying to get um, all hospitals in the United States to have um, all of their nurses go through a 20-hour training course that will be in compliance with the Baby Friendly Hospital Initiative, which will then promote all babies initiating breastfeeding and then continuing to six months at least of life. And what's that, what's that, what's that entail? I mean, um, what they need to do is they need to take a 20-hour uh, CLE training, and then um, they do have some other certification steps after after that, which would include, include uh, reading and uh, testing out afterwards as well. Okay. And then they go on to train the mothers? I mean, that's Absolutely. They, that, then that, that trains them to work with each and every one of the mothers that they come in contact with to help them to initiate and then continue to breastfeed for that six months. And then the new World Health Guidelines as well as the um, AAP Guidelines is to continue that to 24 months. Okay. And see, we went through your classes at, at the... Uh, at, at Life Circle, we went through your classes, and uh, she was dead set against breastfeeding. I remember. <laughs> she was. I mean, going to it, she's like, "I'm not breastfeeding." I'm not. You know, and then you got there and went through your class, and you explained the, the benefits and you know all the all the benefits from it. Then, uh, then you start showing the the money saved by not having to buy the bottles and this. That and always that gets and dads. <laughs> yeah. Well, it did up until a point after she started breastfeeding. He didn't want to have anything to do with me. I had like withdrawal from him. Oh. You know, I was like, you know, with 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 Simon, I would get up in the middle of the night, take the bottle, feed him, walk him, you know, put him back to sleep. All that stuff. I was a part of it. With David, and he's still like that. I mean, he's, he gets in bed with us sometimes, and he snuggles to her. He don't want anything to do with me. Now, if I roll over the other way, he'll snuggle up behind me, but he doesn't want to snuggle up to me. So I kind of Aww. felt left out on this one, but he still wants dad. So, but I mean, the amazing of, benefits that he was able to get health-wise, you yeah, can't feel too bad about that. He get daddy to, to feed him a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> daddy <laughs> tried a time or two. Yeah, he, yeah, he didn't. He didn't want anything to do with that, no, did he? he? No. <laughs> He and of did. course the amazing health benefits that you got as well because mm -hmm. the, the health benefits we know to women who exclusively breastfeed for six months of life is a 59.9% reduction in breast cancer, um, a significant breast uh, reduction in cervical cancer, a 73% reduction in type 2 diabetes, and a 53% reduction in metabolic syndrome. So that's just the women's health benefits, right. not to mention the myriads right. of benefits to the child. Mm -hmm. And that's what really got us on board, I guess, with right. you start talking about the different stuff that, you know, not only for her health, for the baby and, and everything out from there, because it wasn't really the money part of it. Right. That was a portion of it, but it was the health benefit. We started talking about right. the, the allergies, because I don't even remember with Simon, did we even go through any class like that? They showed the benefits? Do we go through anything um, like that? We went through classes, but it was not, it didn't talk much about breastfeeding. It was and so that's sometimes, I think that shows you in 15 years how things have come along, that mm -hmm. people are starting to learn and get educated better on that. And we actually have a breastfeeding support group at Life Circle. Um, and the next one meets on March 9th at 10 o'clock in the morning. And we really encourage women while they're pregnant to attend that breastfeeding support group. A lot 
of times people think about a support group, it's for after you have the baby. But I encourage all of our moms to come while they're pregnant, especially the earlier in the pregnancy that they can come, if they can attend six or seven of those groups before they have their baby, what happens is they've heard all the challenges, but then they've also heard all the solutions. And they form this nice support network. And so by the time they have their baby, they have a really good handle on what's um, going on and what challenges they might incur, but they also already are prepared with the solutions. Mm -hmm. And I think that makes such a difference. When we know better, we do better. Right. right. And that would make a lot of sense because we attended the class just weeks before we had David. So I didn't get the opportunity to go to those. Right. And uh, so it was kind of like, what am I doing here? <laughs> And why is he doing this? You know, I didn't have a lot of trouble, but it would have answered, you know, some, some of those simple questions. questions. Yeah. Luckily, he was a, he was an eater. He latched on good. <laughs> he still <laughs> eats like crazy. Yeah, he's he's our that eater. helps. Yeah, yeah he's, he eats everything. Everything. Yeah. He's a healthy eater. That's yeah. good. That's, yeah, that's yeah. good. Well, they actually say that babies who are breastfed um, actually are better eaters mm -hmm. because uh, your breast milk actually takes on flavors of the different foods that you eat. And so when children are exposed to the different varieties of foods like that, instead of just formula where it doesn't have the, it doesn't take on the flavor of the foods that you're eating, mm -hmm. that Chalk. they actually, as a toddler, <laughs> will eat a bigger variety of mm -hmm. foods, which right. is and kind he of does. interesting. I mean, he'll, he'll pass a cookie to go get a carrot or a tomato. Ah, mm -hmm. love it. So, yes. I mean, it's, yes, I mean, he's really, he eats a lot of uh, vegetables and, and he carries around a banana while the other one's carrying around a brownie. Yeah. That's so, great. You know, yeah, yeah so, good. So if we could reverse it, um, Simon will be breastfed. <laughs> definitely. But the, but, uh, definitely you know, watching him not eat anything. Yeah. Huh? So yeah, we, we thank you for those classes because it really helped a lot. I mean, it, it did. Really, it it really did. pushed us in a different way raising David. Right. Definitely. I'm glad. I love to hear well, that. I got a lot more sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do anything. You, I, you, know, you can't wake me up. I can, so you, you can, can wake advocate me up. that yeah. other dads will get more sleep. I'll say that you yeah. said about the, the breastfeeding support group. You know, dad, so you know what? You get a lot more sleep. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you have an excuse, huh? Yeah, I it's like, I can't do nothing about it. <laughs> and you know, Dr. Wyndham was here talking about vaccines, and mm -hmm. uh, the thing is, we don't have a vaccine that can prevent breast cancer by 59.9% or reduce the, those numbers. But all you have to do is exclusively breastfeed your mm -hmm. baby, and you can arrive at those statistics. So that's right. pretty amazing. Well, I was thinking that, and then you talked about cervical cancer. So if you get the the vaccine plus breastfeed, absolutely, you're just adding to that. absolutely. Let's just eradicate it. Let's get it That's off the right. off the scene. Definitely, definitely. Well, James, you have well, any what, more questions? Well, did you talk about your classes when and where? Oh, we yes. do. We have um, at Life Circle Women's Healthcare um, on Okoe Street, 2301 uh, North Okoe Street, right across the street from the Okoe Middle School. Uh, the phone number is 339-1400 to sign up. We have a breastfeeding class that is the third Tuesday of every month from 6 to 9 p.m. That is open to the general public. We also have a breastfeeding support group that is the second Saturday of every month from 10 to 11 a.m., the next one being March 9th. And then we do have the certified lactation educator trainings that are going on. And you can always go to my website, um, latchontolactationeducation.com, and it will list some of those trainings. But the most exciting thing we do have at Life Circle is we have our lactation clinic. And so therefore moms can come in, new moms can come in and get breastfeeding consultation one-on-one. -on -one. We can also do home visits. They can come in and weigh the baby, feed the baby, then weigh the baby again so they'll know exactly how many ounces they're taking in. Sometimes that can be yes. nerve wracking to new moms. They don't see a bottle going down with ounces, but this way they can know exactly um, that their baby's actually thriving and, and mm -hmm. getting what it needs. So we're excited about our lactation clinic. Absolutely. <laughs> A lot of things going on at Life Care, your Life Circle. I keep wanting to say We're Life busy. Care because you said Life Care. I, keep <laughs> I say Life care. care. Yeah, you did oh, earlier. I, I meant Life Circle. <laughs> you, uh, well, James, if you don't have anything else, we're going to go out for a commercial. We appreciate you being on the show today, Christine. Thanks for having me. At a, such a short notice. I know, I know. <laughs> Always good to see you. Yeah, yeah see definitely, you. definitely. Well, folks, we'll be back just shortly to wrap up. F refill your cup of coffee, and we'll see you in just a few moments. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive-thru. 
Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. Logan Thompson, Attorneys at Law, have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flash screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we just have a few minutes here, and uh, we just wanted to, I guess, go out here and uh, just with the last few minutes, just kind of uh, go over a few things that we uh, talked about on the show, uh, give you some times, dates, uh, phone numbers, whatever we have here, just kind of uh, enhance what the, our guests had talked about today. And uh, Stacy, go ahead and, and just talk about some of the, the uh, information we, we've given. Just go ahead and give it again. Okay. Um, don't forget Paints of Town Periwinkle, April 13th at noon, and this is for esophageal cancer. It's to raise awareness, so get involved in that event. Definitely put that on your calendar. That's at Athens Regional Park in Athens, Tennessee, and I'm sure Stacy would appreciate a phone call, support. She needs a thousand people, a thousand people to give a twenty-five dollar, which $25. is a registration Simple. fee for walking or running, right. and the, the 5K, um, and that all goes towards a good cause. Right, um, definitely. Something that you know, as she, as Stacy had talked about, was um, was something she expected, mm -hmm. planned for or not, but you know, it was there. And she's hoping that to do the same to to raise the awareness that you know what don't wait till the last moment. Um, she talked about several people that had it, and mm -hmm. two or three weeks later, you know, they had passed away. So this is something to get the information out there to uh, let people you know raise the awareness. You know, right. but also you know support the cause, support that by you know, and you don't even have to go run or walk. Find somebody that's uh, that's going to do it or, and make a donation. Maybe I'm pay sure their she'll fee. just take the donation. Take the if donation. You're able and to. Was it ecan.com? Uh huh. Um, ecan.org you can go there you can uh, see the different uh, the registration fee the different things that, that's mm -hmm. going on how you can donate um, you know where to donate and different things um, I would say you know don't miss the event I mean right you know, support it sounds some like way. a fun day it does Music, and, it, and like I said it's for a good cause mm -hmm. so it's it's not simply just going to have fun but it's also going to have fun and supporting the good cause right right and you know she said there'd be some vendors there to you know raising awareness right so definitely get involved in that and then also um, we had Dr. Lacey Windham Right. Um, um, Life Wyndham. Circle Women's Health Care, uh, that's another Talking one. Talking about uh, adult vaccines. Adult vaccines. I mean, you hear a lot of people cough, mm -hmm. and I, you know, I cough a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
So, you know, go there, and ladies, go, uh, go ahead and get set up, get an appointment made, um, you know, go out there and get your vaccines. And she talked about several other things. Uh, uh, Christine was here from also from Life Circle, and she talked about the lactation clinics. Um, as Stace and I, uh, we went to, uh, through the, some of the classes um, a couple years ago when, before we had David, mm -hmm. and uh, it was men, not only uh, women need to go, but men go. Support your wife, um, support your spouse, where, you know, um, and and learn it's it's important what we learned uh, what we found out mm -hmm. what you know and it changed my mind on it i mean there's things you know going into it i didn't see you know the benefits until we learned mm -hmm. and so um you see that i mean not it's only it's not is just it, for first time parents right you it's know. yeah because we that was our time second round, round. <laughs> it was yeah. like starting over again you know yes. we had one of 14 and one of, you know actually at that time they're 12, 11 years and, apart yeah so it was like starting over um, there's a lot of things with this one we didn't expect with i mean that we didn't don't expect with him that we didn't have to go with and deal with the, with the first one but uh mm -hmm. so th that's another one and also has just uh, waste day don't forget about that right um, you that's know, this saturday 8 a.m to 1 p.m at Tri-State Exhibition Center, and um, it's a great time to clean that's out. Different things. I mean, cleaning supplies. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, old medicine. It's uh, expired. I mean, that's something. Mm -hmm. new stuff you know, you know, like medicine. You don't want to throw it away. Says all area residents, no cost. And go um, and throw it away. I mean, clean mm -hmm. up the neighborhood. Clean up your your, your closets, right. your sheds, whatever. Um, get it out there and get it thrown away because like some of the stuff you don't want to throw in the trash. Right. Um, you know, your it's old medicines, not only for the fact that someone would get a hold of it, but also your information's all on it. Information's your, your on name, it. You your name, your address, all this stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, go ahead and give that away. And also remember, just in close, we only have a couple minutes. Um, March 8th, International Women's, uh, Women's, Women's Day. March 10th, time change. Set your clocks forward. We'll, we'll remind you again next week mm -hmm. on this. Uh, and also March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, get the green out. We have to dress up for the St. Patrick's Day. Are green? I have to find something green. I don't know. I don't think I own anything green. I don't know. We'll have to look. Um, March 20th, spring begins. Mm -hmm. So clean up. And also March 31st, Easter. And it's coming early. To me, I guess it's coming mm -hmm. early. I'm so used to it being April a lot of times. And also, um, just quickly going over here, uh, Cleveland Speedway schedule coming up. It's, uh, March 2nd is open practice, 12 to 5 p.m. And then Saturday, March 9th, is the SAS Shamrock uh, 50 laps to win. Um, coming home, the winner going, going leaving with ten thousand dollars. All you people that uh, think you can go fast, go try it out, right? That's right. Ten thousand dollars <laughs> to go get uh, get, get fast. You know, fifty laps is a lot of time to go around and around mm -hmm. and around and circle. I think that's all I have. Um, do you have anything else, Stacey? We can close it up and wrap it up. Don't forget your peanut butter today. Oh, yes, peanut, peanut butter, butter lover's, lover's day, day today. If you love peanut butter, today's your day. Make peanut butter jelly sandwiches, peanut butter cookies, right. peanut butter fudge. Um, I don't it goes know. on and on. We like oh, yeah, peanut butter. We use peanut, peanut butter, butter for smoothies, a lot. milkshakes. One um, little tidbit on that, James, is the average child will eat 1,500 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches before he graduates high school. Wow. That's a lot of peanut butter and jelly. That's a lot of bread. <laughs> it is. But you know, when I was assistant director of the daycare and had to fix lunches on Tuesdays. You probably made those 1,500 I that probably, one day. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I figured it up. I made about a, roughly 100 sandwiches a week. And, you know, that added up 4,800 sandwiches a year, roughly. So, yeah, I contributed to a percentage of that. 4,800, yeah, yeah 4,800 sandwiches. And, uh, you know, so. and after that, a while back, Simon asked for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and told me I made the best. Yes. I think I had a little experience making that's just That's just the men's, a man's way of saying, you know what, I don't want to do it. Yeah, do it really yeah, better yeah, than yeah. I yeah. Did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, little kids used to say the same thing. They, they didn't want to do it. You I know, had They tell you, oh, experience. Mom, you do the best laundry. You do the best dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at a lot of things then. <laughs> yep, yep. Well, folks, we're, we're out of time, and uh, we thank you for tuning in today. We, we hope you... Got a lot of information from us uh, and uh, from our guest. And don't forget, you know, on that, you know, visit the different websites and of, of the guests that was on today and support them any way you can. Mm -hmm. Get your vaccinations. And folks, we'll see you again next Friday. Thank you.